The question, how often do you go see doctors if you have fibromyalgia and which doctors do you see? Michael, I think the answer to this question is it depends. Most people who have had fibro diagnosis longer than 10 years, some are less tenacious and some are more, who have been sent to roomies, pain doctors, and other specialists get to the point where they simply need a break and start slowing down. Surely by the volume of medications that end up stacking up doctor by doctor, we can't keep up and continue over time. It's not healthy to see 310 doctors a month, it almost is counterproductive. Many of us start looking towards nutrition and out-of-the-box care simply because we want a life, not a revolving door that you see in buildings of doctor visits that result in more compounded meds that may or not do something. After 40 years, I see my doctor once a year unless I have an infection or am feeling uncharacteristically worse than normal, like anemia. But that's just me. I pared down my medications from 23 a day to 4 that I have to take that are necessary. See, for me, the number of doctors I was seeing wasn't fixing my sleep issues, my constant chronic pain modes, and the fact they increased over time, did nothing for my non-pylori ulcers created by some of my pain medications, and worse still I ended up with serotonin toxicity that almost killed me. Because most of us do not see the same doctors we did as a child, the problems are compounded by the fact they know little or nothing about us, our baseline normal and with only 15 minutes to diagnose and treat, our care is spotty at best. It isn't until you get to the level of medicine like internal medicine, endocrinologist, or hematologist do doctors take a more in-depth look at your health. Pain doctors don't and your GP doesn't have the time nor the time to review a complicated chart. Roomies tend to fall into two groups, ones who believe in fibro and those who see it as malingering for attention, and you won't know until you visit them to know what their agenda is. So if you're new to fibro there are key things you can have done that will help you. A sleep study. This is done to verify that you aren't getting deep restorative sleep. A therapist that works with chronic pain. This will help you sort things out and help you deal with your loss of your previous life, and help you learn coping skills. Alert, they need to be specialized in working with chronic pain or illness or risk getting diagnosed with somatization or by color disorder because they don't believe in your chronic pain. A nutritionist or a naturopathic doctor, this is your biggest ally because the think outside the box when it comes to health usually. Get your blood panels checked, full thyroid check D2, D3, vitamin D loads, magnesium loads. Have them test you for limes because often limes can hide in a fibromyalgia diagnosis. You also want to have your blood sugar tested without an A1C if you have a history of active infections, kidney stones or anemia. All of these things will raise your A1C loads. It doesn't mean you have diabetes, unless you have a history of diabetes. Have your hemoglobin numbers checked to make sure there is no anemia. Have them test you for lupus, RA and as any one of these conditions can it create more problems than you'll know, because roughly 30% of all people diagnosed with fibro don't have it. We have no diagnostic test that pinpoints fibro as a condition. It is the group of symptoms that alert doctors that it could be fibromyalgia. I am not a doctor, I just have had this condition for a very long time and know some of the major flaws in medicine when it comes to this disease. Go to as many doctors as you need to, including physical therapist, occupational therapist and vocational adaptation specialist to help you with day-to-day -day living. Check out the link below for a guide on long-term remission or to join in with the community.